I think I gotta figure out what my next uh, proper video is gonna be too. I think I might be doing the slap chop guy next. Cause like that one's kind of like one I've been thinking about for a while and I'm kind of I'm in the mood to do that. Alright, I'm assuming that blows up if I shoot it. Yeah. Like the thing is too, like what I worry about the topics like Vince Offer though, I feel like a lot of the interesting stuff about him is stuff people already know. I was kind of worried about that with the last video I did. With the uh the slipknot video. Cause like everyone that's a slipknot fan knows about the purity stuff. But th so like that's why I chose to focus more on the um, the purity story itself because I feel like less people knew the actual details of the story, just that it happened. I I didn't know much about it except just that it happened, and that it was from a website. So I, I'm sure there'll be stuff when I look into the slap chop guy. That'll be things that like aren't as commonly known, but are still interesting and I do want to do a, a series That's kind of more About infomercials and things like that Like I kind of like I definitely want to branch out more It's like just other kinds of nostalgic things that have interesting stories Like what I was thinking about doing is the 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 old-school Encyclopedia Britannica guy I don't even know why like that guy from the commercials that was just like he just played this character as like this nerdy guy. It's like, I got all these encyclopedias. And I know stuff from the encyclopedias. Like, look at this thing from the encyclopedia. Isn't it interesting? And then you're supposed to mail away and have an entire set of encyclopedias mailed to your fucking house. Yo, it, I'm, yo Wikipedia is a fucking godsend. Because if, you, if you've ever used an old school encyclopedia, those things suck ass. Encyclopedias fucking suck. Sorry, Encyclopedia Britannica guy. I know, like, you were... I used to love your commercials growing up, but... Encyclopedias? Pfft, fuck encyclopedias. And yeah, Encarta was... Encarta was good. Encardia... Un, well, Encardia. Encarta was just good, because it had that, that fucking game in it. And then, like, you can look up the article for, like, this health article, and it shows you boobs, and you're like, hell yeah, and Carta, that's what's up. But even, the thing about Wikipedia, too, though, and I've noticed this a lot when working on certain videos, it was always the annoying thing where you would be at school and you would want to use a source. I mean, the trick was, you can't, you don't directly source Wikipedia on your, on your school projects. You go to the sources. I'd be like, oh, well, this is what I cited. Because your teacher's always like, Wikipedia, anyone can write anything. And it's not a valid source. And the thing is, 99% of the time, Wikipedia, like, the information on there is just fine. When it gets fucked up, is like, the less commonly... What the fuck did you just do? When Wikipedia gets fucked, gets shit wrong, it's, like, the topics that are less popular. Certain videos, um, I think one of them... I want to say Two Girls, One Cup. I don't remember now. I think Two Girls, One Cup was something that Wikipedia had a lot of wrong information. I think it was, I think it was Two Girls, One Cup. I think it had something and then I looked to the, the source that was linked and what the source said was completely different from what the article said. So sometimes for more fringe topics, you do have to be careful with that stuff on Wikipedia, but in general, I mean, if you think about it, compared to an old school encyclopedia, by the time you get that shit in your hands, half the information was probably outdated, but these fucking teachers are, oh, well, it's in the encyclopedia that, uh, you know, some fucking stuffy old fart like me put together, so that means it's right. Like, yo, you compare, you, you, you look at an old school uh, encyclopedia, I don't know, I'm not uh, gonna, far be it for me to put into question the validity of any iteration of Encyclopedia Britannica. But I guarantee you, you put Encyclopedia Britannica's contents up to the contents of the same articles on Wikipedia now, and it'll for sure be way more accurate. So, the other day, what are those teachers now? Look at, look at these. Oh! That actually might be a fun video. The uh, Encyclopedia Britannica versus uh wikipedia challenge 
I, I don't think they make Encyclopedia Britannica anymore. So I'm, I'm gonna have to like go on eBay and get a vintage Encyclopedia Britannica to do the to do the challenge. Of course, Wikipedia has an advantage because you know we we're, we have 2020 information on Wikipedia, but Encyclopedia Britannica we're talking the 90s maybe for like the most recent edition. Uh, I don't I don't know if they still make it or not. Maybe they do. The point of the challenge isn't to uh be like oh look at this decades old encyclopedia and how wikipedia is more accurate the point of it is to to shove it in the face of all these teachers who would be like oh wikipedia is not a valid source but then you could compare it uh, you take what they considered a valid source and it's wrong oh it's online now all right well that's different then because it's still up to date good to know that Encyclop Britannic encyclopedia britannic is still doing well though they should they should start doing those commercials again so we know what well, i'm gonna get sued by encyclopedia britannica now for for slandering the quality of their work uh, so let me make it clear i i have no no ill will towards encyclopedia britannica i enjoyed their commercials back in the day it's just you know wikipedia is probably better you know what does encyclopedia britannica have a Two girls, one cup entry? I don't think they do. Yo, know, I keep on finding these areas that are secret areas that don't feel secret to me. But then I can't... But then I'm walking around the areas that are not secret and not finding the, uh... The proper... Areas. Encyclopedia Britannica has a wiki? Suck it, teachers. Your precious Encyclopedia Britannica has bent the knee to wiki.